Okay, so one of the benefits of the development kit is running multiple pumps and or smart pump modules. So if you want to run the smart pump module via UART, and as I mentioned, you can connect it directly uh, underneath the uh, general purpose driver board, and then you can use things like the onboard dial to control the smart pump module. Um, you can certainly do that, or you can actually connect it into one of the smart pump module headers. So this is one of the cables, just connected it into the smart pump module, and basically just plugging it into one of these headers here. So you now see plugged into the header, the uh, light come on, which means the smart pump module is communicating to the board and ready to go. You then just need to connect via the app. The important thing to note prior to running any additional pumps, um, other than the one uh, that's in the middle, is you will need this additional power cable. So please make sure this is connected in if you're gonna run more than one pump or have more than one pump connected at the same time. To connect a second pump, we will need to create a new disk pump control tab. To do this, click on this small plus sign and you will see the second tab appear. In this example, we will be connecting a smart pump module over I2C, so we will need to click the scan I2C button. This will then bring up an I2C address. We click on this, hit connect, and you'll see the system inputs come to life within a few seconds. It is important to note that if you are connecting multiple smart pump modules over I2C, you will need to configure them with different I2C addresses. How to do this is covered in the manual and also our communications guide. To create a plot for this second pump, simply click on this plus sign and you will see a secondary plot window up here. Please note the colours in the tabs are now matching to indicate which pump it is plotting for. If you wanted to plot the information from the first pump or COM5 on this, simply click the secondary plot function shown here. This then brings up a drop down where you can select the pump you want to have displayed, in this case COM5. Select the information you want to have displayed, in this case power, and you can see we are now displaying the power from both pumps. Another useful feature of this app is that the different tabs can be dragged around much like browser tabs. You can drag out the pump app and you can also drag out the plot tabs into separate windows. Having connected up the smart pump module via the second disk pump control app and having opened up your second plot window for that pump, to enable you to easily identify which pump you are working with, the app enables you to change the color coding for each pump. And this can be achieved by selecting the app in question and then using the color slider. In this example, for the main motherboard or COM5, we will select the color pink by dragging the slider over. For the smart pump module, we will click on that app and select the color blue. Doing this not only changes the color on the tab, in the app, but also the colour of the status LED either on the main motherboard or the smart pump module, so you can also quickly identify the hardware as well. To go one step further, you can also rename the control tabs if required. This can be achieved by right-clicking on the tab and then overtyping with the information you want. In this example here, we will use pump number two. The control app also enables you to configure individual settings for each pump. To do this, click on the settings button here as shown and this will bring open a settings window and a settings menu. This has a writable settings board, which you can use to configure I2C addresses when connecting up multiple smart pump modules, for instance. This settings menu also enables you to restore default settings, use current settings on startup, and loading settings from a file. For more information on how to use these, please consult the user manual. Finally, in the case of an emergency, all pumps can be stopped by pressing this stop all button or alternatively, they can be toggled on and off individually by using the tab shown here, with zero being off and one being on. 